Good day to you and welcome to this tutorial covering the lead manager software. We are beginning at the beginning. The first thing that you have to know is that in order to do the work you're proposing to do, you go to ashpo.org.uk and slide down to the bottom of the home page to the login form. You will know your username and your password. It's best to check remember me. And then you click login. And you, if you look at the top right hand, you see it says home and how to. But once you are inside, your name appears there along with the logout. And now the top right has home, how to, lead entry and LM buyer. Today we're going to focus only on lead entry and you see a couple of sample leads which you can open and use to familiarize yourself with the layout of the software into which you are going to be adding data. And the little eyes at the side of each item tell you something about it. Down at the bottom there are some tabs. You should familiarize yourself with these. Test data is uh, because a lot of our people write wills with us and that information is important um, in that context. And the holiday let is the information that goes in for really the foreign property, which isn't always holiday let, um, but for, the, for our purposes the information about the foreign property, the property that's not in England or their home country. We call it holiday let even if it's the house they're living in in Spain. Location and publisher you won't need to worry about. Location enables us to use the coordinates and publisher tells us how complete the lead is. Publisher is a rank in the lead manager system where someone can decide that a lead or a data, data that forms a lead can be published and publishing it means making it available for sale and it has to have a certain score before it can be published as a sellable item. And so look around, uh, you'll see at the top right of the screen now you've got save and close or simply save or cancel. To put a new entry in to add a new record, you just simply click New, and you'll notice that whenever you have saved something, the message is in green, and so if you're not sure if you've saved something, that tells you you have. Uh, when your database becomes fuller, fuller you will um, to put a new entry in to add a new record, you just simply click New, and you'll notice that whenever you have saved something, the message is in green, and so if you're not sure if you've saved something, that tells you you have. Uh, when your database becomes fuller, fuller, you will need to use the search facility that's there to find records that you have previously put in. And so, what you will receive from the office is data. Mostly it'll be for someone that is a new entry, but sometimes it'll be adding to entries that you have previously entered. And, uh, and so just as you saw with the Howard Bowell entry, clicking on it takes you back into that record and you can add to it, subtract from it, change things. Some of the internal boxes are freehand notes of a certain type which will allow you to enter almost an unlimited amount of information about the background to the client or about the client's family which is very useful to members of the staff working on records that are a few months or a few years old and bringing themselves back up to date. 
as to where they were.